So we're making us a little crossing here. Uh, this is a creek and it is, it is wet, wet, wet. Now I know a 12 inch culvert is probably not adequate flowing, but for our purposes, a 12 inch culvert's pretty cheap and that's what we're gonna use. So we throw that down in there. And then I dug out some logs out of the pile and I throw them across there this way uh, to bridge me across into firm land on both sides. Now I'm going to reach behind me and I'm going to get some smaller brush and throw it on top of all that bigger logs, kind of create me like a mat. So now we can go in and across this creek without violating any DEP uh, forestry regulations. Keeps the streams clean and it keeps me from muddying everything up. So y'all stay tuned and let me, uh, let me get this cover on here. Alright, put this last little bit on here. Got us a good, got a good bridge. Now, all we gotta do is get us some dirt to cover all this up. It'll settle down inside of those little passages. We got the water to flow through the corner. And we'll ditch and deep water the roadway in here. We've got ourselves a ourselves a matted crossing. I built quite a few of them when I worked for Mercier's, which was a uh, railroad contracting outfit. Built quite a few of those. So let's get us some uh, let's get us some drier material dug out here so we can get this thing sealed up. And let's get some let's get some brush moving. Well, there we go. Got our layer of dirt on good and solid as far as crosswise. We're ready to get the rest of this mud off this road so we can uh, start trucking some brush. Hold tight. Okay, well we got the skid steer, our brush jockey. We got it in place down there. I'm gonna bring the excavator up. And I'll get all these piles and I'll throw them into the road and then after I get them all spread out, all the way back into here, I'll park that skid, I'll park the excavator, I'll get in the skid steer, and I'll pack all that brush up there where our fire is going to be. So, typically, I would be doing one thing, another guy would be doing another. But you know, Poppy ain't scared to work alone. Well, I got it all laid down here in the road. <sighs> I'll tell you what, we get all this brush out of the way. The job won't look so big on big. Got a lot of work for it. Yeah. Well, let's get in this skid steer and do a little bit of brush jockeying. We'll take it over there. Well, we're gonna burn it. Got a pretty good little seam of water coming out right there. On it right there, right there, right there. Got rain water or water coming out. Okay. Look at that one. Good seam of water right there. That's what we're up against. Scrape that off again tomorrow. All right, let's get this thing going. We got a lot to clean up. And we can't. Uh, you see the trucks all the way out there. We gotta get all that cleaned up before we can even get any fuel or anything. Oh. All right, let's get this show on the road. The road's getting wetter. Um, basically, what you got to do when you when you're Chalky and brush, the main thing is keep the dirt out of it. If you got dirt in your in your grabs, uh, and you grab about a wheelbarrow load of dirt every time, then you're gonna have a lot of dirt in it. Second thing is back up when you can because pieces are gonna pieces are gonna be following behind you like great vines and everything. And it's always better if you're backing up because then 
you're not running over those. That's what the problem with a lot of it is with the guys. First thing they want to do is get you a grab and spin around. Well, you can't do that. Second of all, when you're spinning around, you try to spin uphill. So you have a little bit more torque when you go to spin and come around like I'm doing here. See, I've got a little bit more torque instead of trying to torque uphill. I said torque, not twerk. And that's all there is to it. Bring her up here and you dump it in the pile so we can burn it. And I'll bring my bucket up a little bit so you can see. There's my, there's my crossing. And I got a little dip right here in it. And I put a log down there and that keeps that water from, it's gotta have a place to go. It's like all in here, I put some reliefs in here. I'll put a couple bells of straw out, tack them down to, that way the foresters, that way they're happy about holding the remnants back. I got some silk vents. I may just go ahead and have the boys, or have, well, I only got one tomorrow, but I may just go ahead and have them guys put the silk vents up in them spots, just, just across where the entrances are, or the exits for the water flow. Same thing, you just, you try to, you're, it's like opening up pizza box. Kind of visualize that. You're opening up that pizza box, look at that pizza. Mmm, that looks good. And and everybody and their brother, that's the first thing they want to do, just keep loading the bucket. It'll only hold so much. You want to keep that front, you want to keep your skid steer, your your bucket's got to be on the ground. Got it, or your, shoot, your front, your front of your skid steer. I'm going to go ahead and spin around on this one, just so you can see what everything looks like going back that way. But uh, you got to keep the front of that skid steer on the ground. If you're raising it up, you're not doing a bit of good. That means you you're, you're, you ain't doing nothing. You're not grabbing anything. I usually try not to try not to follow the same track over and over again. That just keep pumping it back and forth, back and forth. We just come up here. And try to keep that dirt out of it. I know a little bit of dirt fell down right there. But that's on my bucket. Ain't no dirt in it. Just keep packing it tight. There's a little bit of dirt in it. I lied, didn't I? Back on, rookie. Get her spin around and head back for another. That's all there is to it. Don't, don't bust my glass out. If a guy shows up again tomorrow. If a guy shows up tomorrow, that's kind of what he'll be doing tomorrow is this. I just, I gotta get something done. If it is by myself. And you just keep railing in it. It's not a real bad gig. It's not a real bad job at all. See, I don't like spinning around. I like going back and forth flat. You're not tearing up your road. You see, that uphill on that mud is going to be fun. I have to hurry up and try to get this one done before that water gets up too much on the road. Mix it all. Just keep all your, all your brush square. See, I didn't pitch this up real high either whenever I shoveled all this. I kept it because I knew that you know, it was going to be a bear, so I wanted to keep all the piles down low. See, I got me a pretty good grab there. Just start backing up. There's a piece that's going to break. Now, I've had them get going too fast and break them on a tree. And I've had the pieces that broke, and I've had them come back and hit the skid steer and everything. so often kind of tighten your clamp down. And it's about all there is to it. I know you can't see nothing. Our water's working good. It hurt to have a little bit of dirt laid in there, but the transition's kind of rough. Okay, that's pretty much it. We'll let you get back at it.